Hi, this is Cameron, AJ4TW. Back with my Hack RF again. And I uh, just wanted to show uh, the uh, FM broadcast band filter. Um, how it works and uh, how it might help. This is a amateur radio FM uh, 2 meter VHF repeater. You can see it clearly here. Uh, I'm using a bit of a wide filter because I'm going to switch over to broadcast band. And uh, let me show you the little rig I got rigged up here. So this uh, is just that same coax switch I had uh, before. This goes up to my uh, 2 meter antenna outside. VHF, UHF antenna. Uh, right now I got it coming straight through here to the Hack RF with this SMA cable. And then here is the uh, broadcast band filter. Um, and I have to have some adapters on it to make it work because it has F connectors. It's made for uh, helping out with TV reception. But so you can see it blocks 88 to 108 megahertz. FM trap they call it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the uh, FM broadcast band here. And uh, and uh, let's see, let's zoom out. So there's a uh, FM radio station, a couple of them there. Zoom out a little bit more, you can see the whole FM broadcast band there. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to scroll up the band a little bit. And uh, you can see some more up here. So there's an image of an FM broadcast band at 118 megahertz, which is well outside of the broadcast band. So you'll see, you'll have this that's a really strong you know representation of what an image will be from front end overload because there there are no pre-selectors on the uh, hack rf1 so in order to get those big strong signals out of the pass band or out of the front end of the receiver so you don't get images what you can do is put in one of these so i'm going to try with my uh, camera here to uh, switch over. First I'm going to switch the uh, coax switch over to uh, the other thing. Everything drops out basically because it's not connected now. And then uh, let me switch this guy over. It's going to be hard to do this and hold the camera at the same time. Let's see if I can do this one hand. <laughs> Here we go. Switching that SMA cable over. Now it's connected, so there's a path through here, through this blocking filter, and no FM stations at all. Uh, not even down here in the FM band. That's uh, 98 megahertz. There's 108 at the top of the band. There might be like a really light signal here coming through. Um, but for the most part, it's knocked them out completely. So you have, uh, no, um, images up here, 117, 118 megahertz. We had tons of images right up and through here and you don't see those anymore. And now I'll go back to, uh, my FM repeater that I had programmed in there. I had some activity on it right now. Let me double click on that. I'll zoom in and you can see that this FM repeater is still coming through. So it's not blocking the, you know, it's not like I just unconnected the antenna or something. It's, it's actually filtering out that band and uh, getting rid of some images, which will clean up uh, and act as somewhat of a pre-selector, but um, it just cleans up those strong signals. If you're working in other parts of the spectrum, um, broadcast signals can really uh, hammer in and, and knock out your receiver, or not knock it out, but uh, cause you some problems, other signals that you don't want to see. So, there you go, that's the Hack RF and uh, using a little FM trap from MCM Electronics. 
There it is, right there. So that's the story with that. I think I'm gonna try to do a uh, an example video also with uh, DSD Plus. There's the Hack RF, and I have this little guy here, which is the Connect Systems CS700 radio, and uh, I will. Uh, hook up DSD plus it's very simple actually I can um well maybe uh, I don't want to make this video too long but uh, what you do is uh, in uh, SDR sharp you change your audio output so I have to stop the radio then I can change my audio output here and I have virtual audio cable set up already so believe line 2 would be the one I want alright I have that selected start this back so the heck RF is running again you don't hear the audio because it is going to DSD let me start that program which is here and then um, let's see let me tune let me let me get this radio on to a frequency uh, let's see if I can find a simplex. Let's go here. Um, so 441.0125. Try that. Let's tune the uh, heck RF up there. 441. Oh. Two, five. All right, let's see what happens. Okay, you can see the, the DMR signal coming through there. And uh, let's see, if that is set right, it should be set for line two. Um, and it's, I'm not seeing any data there, so I need to work on that a little bit. But there's what the DMR looks like there. It's a strong signal because it's coming from uh, uh, not very far away. I think I'm transmitting with 5 watts right now. And uh, and my antenna that I'm transmitting with is probably about 100 feet away. AJ4TW. Just ID'd there. And uh, anyway, so that's, uh, that's that. And... Uh, Anyway, that's what a DMR signal looks like, and I'm gonna I'll work on uh, virtual audio cable. This is the DSD Plus program. Let's see if I can get it focus there. Yeah. So I just got to work on that a little bit, and we'll get that running. and you'll be able to see uh, DSD Plus. But that's the basics of it there. Anyway, uh, we'll try to get that demo working a little bit better, but you can see a few things anyway. I did see uh, my uh, um, my Wi-Fi earlier today, and it's on 24:12. I'm on uh, channel one, I think, on my router. So uh, let's see if we can see it pop up here. Yeah, there you go. So that's my my Wi-Fi signal. It's a a wide band. 20 megahertz usually, and it's just kind of a pulse. That's what Wi-Fi looks like. Let's, let's see if we can get some more pulses here. Uh, this antenna is outside, so it's further away from my router than what I was using earlier. But uh, I'll pick up a couple more, maybe. <laughs> well. <laughs> I guess that's not going to happen. But anyway, uh, thanks for checking me out. And I'm still playing with this guy. And I uh, hope you got one and you're playing with it too. I've, I've uh, started the uh, Michael Osman uh, instructional videos. And I'm working with uh, running. I got this computer set up, and there goes another little Wi Fi pulse there. You can see it coming down the waterfall. Set up this computer in dual boot with Linux and uh, got Ubuntu on there and I got uh, 
new radio running and everything so I'm gonna start playing with the heck RF there and try to learn how to do a little bit of that get myself into uh, a little bit of uh, new radio companion and some uh, build my own software basically using their software to make it do what I want but it's a good way to learn and uh, if you got a heck RF you should probably check that out too but Windows gives you the instant satisfaction with SDR Sharp here. All right. I hope you enjoyed it. We'll catch you later.